Beard Face Showcase. I'm Dougal Lawless and today I'm showing you uh, <laughs> what you can break with Trevor's face. Well at least the few things I found anyway. Um, so obviously you can throw yourself on the ground by jumping and pressing uh, punch and here we go! <laughs> so the first thing I discovered is that wooden picket fences thingies are very very prone to breaking against Trevor's beautiful mustache. Um, so the the aim of the game is pretty much just do it. Just just smash things with Trevor's face because, you know, why not? Um, also, yeah, windscreens, they do it. Uh, basically anything that, well, not anything. I did have some trouble finding certain objects that would break. Um, for example, like, you know, metal fences and stuff like that. But generally, the things that are easier to break, you can do it with Trevor's face. And here I found myself stuck underneath some solar panels. Oh, no I didn't. I got out. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Now break the swimming pool! No. No. No, just broke your shoulder and died. Glorious. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, there's a lot of things that you can't break, and I did spend a lot of time just trying out, like, everything I noticed that was breakable in the game, I tried it with Trevor's face. Um, and the weird thing is, it's it's all based on, like, the force, you know? The, the physics in this game are pretty well thought out and pretty well done, in my opinion. Um, especially when it comes to, like, you know, breaking things <laughs> with faces. They've done a great job with that. Uh, but yeah, that, there's a few things in the game that either you need more force, so maybe from a higher height. In fact, there is an example of that later in the video, um, where, I <laughs> yeah, you need you need more momentum with a lot of objects to actually smash them. Um, but you know, it's fun just trying it out, seeing what you can do because the ragdoll physics in this game are quite fun, anyway. So yeah, just throwing yourself into tables, getting the floor wet because this game is thought about everything. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this woman, really? I broke her, sort of, open your fucking no, eyes? I didn't break her that much, she was alright. Uh, and again, I wanted to show off, yes, you can break windscreens, except I couldn't break this windscreen, because <laughs> I failed. Um, oh yeah, this bit, yeah, I, I decided the best thing to break oh, is way, records. Um, not, not songs, but you know, like, the, the school record. The school record for the highest jump onto the high jump. Yeah. No? Yes. Well, anyway. I did it! I don't believe anyone's beat that record. If you have, post a video. Otherwise, I won't believe you. I'm sure you have. It's not hard. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I think I might have gone off track a little bit. Okay. Oh, here's the long jump. Actually, this is the pole jump. The pole vault. Uh, but obviously there's no pole for you to vault with. So I just did it with Trevor's face, because Trevor's face is my favorite thing to throw about. Um, I don't know why he's so much more fun to throw about than the other two characters, but he just is. Uh, oh yeah, this is satisfying. See that? That is some, that's good collision physics. Sorry about the blink then, as well. I, yeah, I paused and then unpaused, and you never saw it because the wonders of editing. Okay, so you climb up on this rock, you jump off, and you smash it with your face. Oh yeah, I'm I'm getting good at this by this point. Um, in fact, I'd already planned this video. The first time I smashed something with Trevor's face, I was like, <coughs> "Gotta make a video of that one day." So I did, and here it is. <laughs> um, my my thought originally was everything made out of wood is probably breakable, like with his face, but it's not. Um, <laughs> I found out in various ways. Uh, but look at, I mean, look at that. It's just so satisfying. Like, uh, throwing people about and, and doing all that stuff. Throwing people into that, you know? You know? I don't know. Uh, what did I break here? Oh, yeah, I broke Trevor. Again. I broke Trevor several times in this, actually. Um, he's, yeah. Oh, here's another little testament to the physics in the game. Well, it's sort of a testament. More like, just... I don't know, I just found it so funny. This guy was just... <laughs> he's dead, or knocked out, or something. And... I, d <laughs> I don't get... Like... <laughs> why, 
<laughs> Why is his friend just stood there as well, like just sat there going, Oh no, you just you just killed my friend by jumping into us. I'll just stand here, I'm not gonna get up, I'll just scream. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh no! So I killed him too, somehow. I mean, come on. What are these guys made out of? Like Play-Doh or something? But it, I just, yeah, I just love the physics. Pushing people off chairs. That's another thing to do that's a lot of fun, actually, is knock people over in their chair and then just push them out of them. The fun I get out of this game. See, physics, sandbox games, just they're just, they're just the best. I, I just love sandbox games. I don't love sandboxes. I actually had sand thrown in my eye once. Um, oh yeah, this is where I, I lost that woman. I was going to get her, and then she ran away. Uh, so yeah, I tried these fences. Uh, I believe the first time I ever did it was on one of these fences. Um, but I just couldn't get it. I couldn't smash it. I wasn't There wasn't enough momentum behind me, or... I don't know, maybe they were made out of like reinforced steel or something. I don't know. It just didn't work. Um, so yeah, again, instead I just ended up breaking Trevor. Or rather, the cops did, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I kicked it. Yeah, and then I died. I'm probably gonna die. Do I die? I'm pretty sure I die. See, I've turned off my HUD for this part, because um, I was actually filming another project. Uh, so I don't know how much health I have while I'm playing, so the cops are just laying bullets into me and I have no idea. Oh, there we go, I died. Break Trevor. It's just as fun as actually uh, breaking things as breaking Trevor. Although a lot of people don't know that the you know his special ability, if you activate it, like you know, it negates all damage. Um, originally, I think they announced that it was gonna like dampen the damage, not like stop it all. But I found that you know you can jump out of a plane, uh, and if you time it right, you can you know <clears throat> smash into the floor and not die. So, not so I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just I don't know. I'm I'm overgrown. So what do we do here? Oh yeah, tried to break that bin, but it bested me. Goddamn bin. Ew. So I didn't Loser let it get away with that. Oh no. What do I? No, I don't. I smash it. But you don't see it because I got it. Ha! <laughs> uh, what's this? Oh yeah, this this cabinet. I was pretty convinced to see it again. Wooden things. I thought, yep, it'll smash. It's made out of wood. Trevor is harder than wood. But no. No. I'm pretty sure you can smash that, that thing. Oh, sorry lady. <laughs> Just kick you when you're down. Oh, here's the bit where I break gravity! Yeah, see? I can break gravity with Trevor's face. That's how good I am. That's how good I am. See? Hold on, here we go. Oh, whoa, cup! Floating cup. Gravity broken. Achievement unlocked. Oh, yes, this is probably my favorite bit. Um, just because it's so satisfying to smash through glass with a face. Or a fist. I didn't do it with my fist. But, yeah. Um, oh! Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I think I broke a bit on the right of it. But this, I think this is the best one. I just jumped straight through it like... Bleh! Yeah. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why is this fun? It shouldn't be this fun, but it is. It really is. Oh, right, roll. Just, in fact, just rolling alone is fun enough, so... Oh, yes. Those are also one of the other most satisfying things. It's, it's the bus stops and the for sale signs, the wooden ones. Don't try it with the metal ones, they don't work. Obviously. Um. Oh, and then I break this guy's nice day as well. Oh, we had a nice bicycle ride, did we? Oh, well, not today. Some hobo-looking man came and punched you and threw himself at you. And Although, this may, this guy's made out of steel. Wah! Like, seriously, what? Oh, no, he's not. He's dead. Yes! Satisfying. Oh, fell over. Always oh, falling over, Trevor. What's wrong with you? He's got some sort of mobility issues. Oh, don't. Okay, here we go. This this bit annoyed me. Okay, I don't. Who designed the like? Just just this is the most annoying part of GTA for me, um, and it's something that's infuriated me for since day one, pretty much. Because there's so many like breakable objects, and you know, so many objects that move when you you run into them. But there's one object that you just can't get through, and that's these goddamn tents. They're like full of concrete or something. I don't know. They just it annoys me to no end. So I had to <laughs> let out a little bit of steam. But look at that! I mean, come on! No, that doesn't do it either. 
Splap that on there. Two of them. Why not? Shoot it. Go on. Yeah, see? Nope, still standing. Drive your car into it? Nope, still standing. Blow up the rocket? Nope, still standing. I mean, I've never been in a tent that that's secure. I, every time I go in a tent, it's it's down by the time I get into it. It's, you know, I don't know whether I'm just doing it wrong or something, but I've never had a tent that's dirty, and I don't think I ever will. Ridiculous. I hate it. I HATE YOU! I HATE YOU! So I shot you. Uh, wacky inflatable waving arm man! You can't break him. Nobody can break him. He's the best. This is just another nice little testament to the physics in the game, really. I mean, cloth physics are something that have always sort of impressed me. Uh, even though it's it's not even that impressive, really. It's just it's just nice to see that sort of immersion, and you know that feels really satisfying when you walk through it and it waves in you know a semi-realistic way. So yeah, uh, he's got a goofy face. He looks like Towley. So at this point I was like, right, okay, I'm done breaking the thing. Well, I'm not done, but I, I think the best thing to break is Trevor's face. So I try, oh, oh, I bounced, and then I didn't manage it. Just like many other things, I didn't manage to break Trevor's face. It, I, like, how? How did he not die from that? As everyone knows, oh, that's another thing, actually. Not only is it the tents, but the bushes. Some of the bushes you can drive through, the other ones are made out of reinforced titanium. Oh, there we go. I finally broke his face. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I spelled up this section because I was just... I was getting so annoyed. I, you can't break these fences. Well, I say you can. It takes... It's this, this is the perfect example of why momentum... Or where the momentum is, you know... You'll see in a minute how momentum is definitely an oh, essential point to break. breaking oh, stuff. <laughs> with Trevor's face. Uh... Oh yeah, and these blue barrels, I thought maybe, like, you know, some the lid will pop off or anything like that, but no. So I got a bit angry and kicked it, and then the barrel actually beat me. I fell over. <sighs> Trevor. I don't know what he's on, like, I don't... Oh yeah, I thought I'd do a bit of cow tipping. and you get down in the country, cow tip some cows, like, but, <laughs> but you can't. You can't tip cows unless you kick tails. Kick tails? Tick pals. Mal cow. Mal. Pa chow. Mal. Oh! There we go. I finally broke that one. And that wasn't even that much momentum, so I don't really understand what I did differently that time. But I'm not going to complain. Oh, and here I challenged myself to get through that gap. Uh, I didn't really manage it, but I came out on the other side, so I thought, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> and here is the PS de la Vista. I'm going to not put that bit in. No, I probably will. No, I'm not. No, no, yeah. Here's the piece of the little stuff. Just come on. Just jump. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on, you can do it. I know I'm going to do it, so, you know, here we go! Oh, yeah. I mean, that... Shit, <laughs> that was satisfying. Shit. I don't understand why. But, yeah. And then I died. So, yeah. If you're interested in besting my video... You know, if you've broken something with Trevor's face, or anyone's face for that matter, um, then go ahead and post a video or, you know, <gasps> comment about it or anything. Just, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, and if you're interested in the music used in this episode, um, I'll put the links below. It's by a band called Maniac. Uh, I'm actually making a music video for one of their songs right now, so keep your eyes peeled. That'll be coming out soon. Uh, have a nice day, and keep those beards on your face.